Inspector? It might be a little beyond my job description to ask, but at my heart, I'm still a bellhop. Was the suite to your liking? I didn't even know they made hotel rooms that large. Uh, didn't feel too strongly. Just here to investigate. <laughs> Shut up and do your job. <laughs> no, let's uh, let's put on our best Columbo or something. I'm just here to investigate. Ah, someone focused on their work. I can absolutely respect that. We're terror rays of a fin, Inspector. Now mm -hmm. I'd love to bring you to a floor of your choosing. Right. Uh, yeah. Let's let's get out of this place. And we will once again take Felix and Parvati with us. You heard, but we're in the middle of a lockdown. No one's supposed to be coming or going. And when I can't get a hold of anyone in the orchards, I can't make sure of that, can I? No, Miss Fergus. Sorry, I'll work on getting a hold of someone. Great. You do that. I'll be waiting right here. You sound like a quest giver. Swear to the architect, Matthias. If you've lost your rifle's ionization coil again... Oh, wait, you ain't part of my crew. What do you want? Hi, basically just Darby Allen. Glorious. What are you doing as an NPC in the Outer Worlds, basically just Darby Allen? Glorious. You sound, uh, you sound just a little upset. Tightly wound, tightly wound? Damn right, I'm, t I'm fine. I'm going to my calm place where there's peace. And quiet, and none of my sprat fucking subordinates can bother me. Mm hmm. On behalf of Slug, I'd like to apologize for that outburst, as well as all of my future outbursts. Get him out of the way. I'm a wound up. You would be too. Of course. Between the landing pad, lockdowns, gate closures, and constant questions from angry guests, mm -hmm. I've got a lot on my plate. And if that don't beat all, one of my crew is AWOL. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> is it Matthias? I wish. Matthias is about as useful as a manta queen in a saltuna cannery. Yeah. Wouldn't give a damn if he were lost. Frankly, he'd be doing me a favor. Uh, you know, I could find this missing person. If you're serious, I'd appreciate the help. He's been missing a few days, and we're low on staff as it is. Okay, this man's dead. Got it. This, this, this man is just dead. Understood. Uh, why did you wait until now to consider that he might just be dead? It's not exactly uncommon for slug agents to go on the odd bender. They'll pick a place they think I don't know about and hunker down. Mm -hmm. Usually I don't bother with the discipline and paperwork. Gotta pick your battles. Thing is, they usually resurface within 24 hours. Or at least yell for medical help. This guy, not a peep. So he's dead. Got it. The missing crew member's Evan O'Connell. He's one of about two slug agents I can trust with more complex tasks than stand here and look tough. Friendly type. Well-behaved, followed orders. Anyone else, I'd think they got drunk and fell asleep in a ditch somewhere, but O'Connell's not really the type. No, he's dead. He was last stationed at the Wilderness Checkpoint. I'd search there first. He's quite dead. He's like 1,000% that man is dead. Man is already dead. Has been dead. I did not kill him. He is dead. Oh, there's Marauders. Why, um, why was I not alerted that there would be marauders? Seems a relevant piece of information that I should have had. Nobody messes with you, boss. Just over here holding on to my... You dickbags didn't bother to tell me that there was marauders? Oh, this gun is very good. I'm a fan of this gun. I'm a big, big fan of this gun. Not so much a fan of the suddenly having to use this gun, but I'm a big fan of the gun. Come on. Where'd you go, bud? There you are. Yep. Can't see you. Oh. Oh, you got exploded. Well, cool. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Ooh. There's a timeline discrepancy. Hey, um, discrepancy analyzer, has anyone ever told you that uh, you sound like Robert Picardo? Because you kind of sound like the doctor from Voyager. The garb on this security guard identifies him as a member of the Rizzo's Corporation. 
His rank would have been that of Jawbreaker or higher. This security guard has experienced premature expiration. Evidence strongly suggests a conflict with marauders. Okay. <laughs> how does this, uh, one, how does this uh, count as a discrepancy in the universe? And two, do you have anything on him? find three bits and a half-eaten purple berry crunch. <laughs> At least he left this world happy. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Crew C. It's Amelia. Evan must have gotten into the spectrum in these crates. Listen to this. Come out. Come out to play. Wow. He's having a grand old time. I'm going to take him to A2 under the hotel so he can sleep it off. I'll meet you back at the orchard straight after. See you soon. Evan, come on, you slackwit. Okay, so I just accidentally advanced the plot for the uh, strange disappearance of a Watchman quest. So, yeah. Uh, did I find my way to the... No. That was... We were supposed to go out this way, but no. We just we skipped a step. Okay. That was an accident. We're still looking for the uh, discrepancy for uh, this guy. Yup, yup, discrepancies up here. Okay. Give me that. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Yeah, thanks. Got my cleaver hyper, light and heavy ammo, and over here. This card also expired prematurely following a violent encounter with marauders. Uh huh. So how is that a discrepancy? There are marauders. Is that all we're supposed to know? There are marauders here? There are marauders. There should not be marauders. It's a discrepancy. I suppose from Rizzo's perspective, it would be. All right, we are here at the Purpleberry Orchards. Hello, Sydney Moyano. You have a thing over your head. What does that thing over your head mean? <laughs> Hello, Cindy. You work at the Nut Hut. Well, well, well. It's Rizzo's. Welcome to the Purpleberry Nut Hut, you wonderful, wonderful customer. Thank you for giving my humble existence value. Cindy. I can't tell if she's happy or dying on the inside. Cindy. I sure am. Good lamps you got on you to take notice. Cindy. I'm sorry. There is a a plant, or perhaps a or perhaps a tentacle, or in a worst case scenario, a baby just growing out of your. We're gonna look at that and say, nope, this is normal. Now I'd love to get you something, maybe a couple somethings. Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. Have, did you see Halcyon Helen? No, I'm sorry. The only celebrity who shopped recently is Black Hole Birdie. Quite the affable man, as it so happens. Uh-huh. And the stories are wrong. He could probably lift two benches of toss ball players at once, not just one. Laws, not just affable, but virile, too. Uh-huh. Ooh, wait a minute. Now that his bow's dead, that means Bertie's single. Maybe I'll strike up a little more than conversation the next time he comes by. Oh, boy. Um, you should take him to see a Halcyon Ellen movie. Hey, that's a swell idea. Terror on Monarch was so romantic. Thanks for the suggestion. Mm hmm Sadness is a big old waste of time. Besides, the sooner I start courting him, the sooner we can both be happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's that little foot. <laughs> because you got him. No. Um, can you tell me anything about the orchards? Do they perhaps house, oh, say, parasites? I'm so glad you asked. The orchards are my third favorite subject, with my first being Rizzo's refreshing drinks and my second being Rizzo's toothsome confectionaries. 
Our orchards are the source of 63% of Rizzo's total produce, which correlates to 112% of fresh goods throughout all of Halcyon. Give or take a few percent, of course. Of course. If you want to know more about each part of the orchards, might I recommend one of our fantastic tours? One of our options is even audio guided as a special bonus feature. Of course. You know, I've heard pasta described as toothsome, but never, uh, never candy. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Our tours are my fourth favorite subject. Every part of the orchards is so rich with Rizzo's lore. Buy a tour ticket and anoint yourself with knowledge. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'd say that's a shame, but I'm just too delighted to be talking to you. Right. Okay. Let's just... Nope, we're just going to move on. We're just going to... We're just going to ac accept that it is, a, it is a thing that is there. Maybe I could hold up my end if your people weren't sabotaging my operations. Hi, Discount Phineas. What's your deal? And if sabotaging the orchards weren't enough, you had to make it personal. You really had to bust my Insta coffee maker, too? The nerve. Uh, hold that asinine, asinine thought. Who is this armed stranger who just wandered into your office? Back up for a fight you can't finish? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know this fella. I think it's mightily more likely that he's under your payroll. Here to burn down what you haven't already. Listen, a lot of shit blows up when I'm here. But, uh, sabotage? I don't know nothing about no sabotage. I see. Just a visitor, then. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, Hathaway. Not everyone's abandoned your orchards. Well, shame that you're trying to change that. Anyway, sorry for the heated reception, stranger. There's just been some trouble here of late. You don't say. Name's Overseeing Orchardist Hathaway. And I'm in charge of these orchards. Your name is Ooh? Well, it seems like certain groups, which will remain unnamed, are trying to change that. Looks like I'm stuck playing the part of a customer service rep. Guess it's different from the usual, at least. Uh, something I can do for you? Uh, I mean, you you mentioned sabotage. Have you seen Helen? Uh, what's with Sydney's neck? Can we ask what's with Sydney's neck? No? Okay. Uh, yeah, tell me more about, uh, did you see Halcyon Helen go up here? Yeah, I saw her. Tried to flag her down for an autograph, but to no avail. Ran right by me. No idea where she was heading. Hmm. Seemed like she had a lot on her mind. She ran right by you, you say? Hmm. All right, well, what's this about sabotage? Yeah, just another woe to add to the pile. In the past, the orchard subcontracted security work from Slug, you know, Keep the malcontents on staff from causing too much trouble. But between the Spectrum Brown unveiling demanding all of our resources and the recent uptick in worker accidents, we just ain't got the budget for security. Oh dear. And, of course, Slug has decided that instead of being reasonable, they're just going to sabotage our operations until we start paying them again. Those, that's bad. Look at the poor Rizzo's manager, lying about sublight to make himself feel better. Shame he skipped where Rizzo's were short on our payments months before the new unveiling. Look, at the end of the day, it's obvious that Slug is sabotaging us. I ain't paying until they come clean. Mm-hmm. Uh, what kind of sabotage are we talking about? Oh, you know, nothing particularly troublesome. Just rogue exterminator mechanicals opening fire on anything that twitches within 300 yards of them. That does sound bad. We've also got a large group of new saplings. All dead from some kind of toxic substance. Poison, I guess. That also sounds bad. And who could forget the tower processing console, which probably just shorted out and stopped working on its own, even though it's outfitted with three separate backup systems? That also sounds bad. There are a suite of explanations for what could have happened, most pointing to Rizzo's worker incompetence. My people didn't sabotage anything. That does sound possible, though. That does sound possible. But, uh, listen, I can figure out what's going on. Thank the law. Some good news. You hear that, lapdog? Truth's coming. Better fess up while you still can outside of an interrogation room. While I'm sure you'd love to have a scapegoat on whom you can pin your own incompetence, I suspect you'll be disappointed. But what do I know? I suppose it's up to your new hiree. Mm-hmm. All right. Well... Uh, we can go investigate all of those things, I suppose.
But first, uh, a scant 37 meters this way, there appears to be some disturbed ground. Huh. Never knew purple berries grew on trees. I guess you learn something new every day. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Aha! More footprints. These footprints match the shoes previously analyzed in the Grand Ballroom. There is a 110% chance with a 10% margin of error that they were left by Ruth Bellamy, the actress known as Halcyon Helen. So, you know, they could be... It could be a 120% chance that that's Halcyon Helen. Spacing between each footstep is short and the imprint in the dirt deep as if determined. Yeah, she was in a hurry. Cool. Okay. How do we... Game? Oh. The tracks hesitate, partially turning in one spot as if Helen paused to look behind her. She may have feared she was being followed. Okay. Can Did we find anything? Ah. In a hurry, thought she was being followed. They're definitely her phone. Had saltuna for breakfast last week. <laughs> yes. You're really getting the hang of this inspector business. Sure am. I don't know if that was a weird visual glitch or if they just didn't have anything to show us there, but that was very weird. I was afraid the game had crashed for a second there. Hi, Jacob. You have that weird bliss indicator above your head. Um, you wouldn't also happen to have a terrible neck growth, would you, buddy? Well, hell sweet hello there, valued visitor. I am sure sorry to break it to you, but our orchards are closed to all officially guided tours at this precise moment in time. You... I don't mean to alarm you, but I'm pretty sure that grin is permanent. Okay. Why, thank you! Rizzo's encourages all workers to put on a happy face when engaging with valued customers. Okay. Rizzo's does beseech you to please purchase one of our self-guided options if you're wishing to join one of our rejuvenative, relaxing, reformatory tours. Now with a Puzzle Hedges trademark maze hunt and special edition taste testing for an extra 35 bits a ticket. First of all, yes, Ash, this does look an awful lot like John Mulaney. Second of all, oh look... He has another one of those awful neck growths. Third thing, game. Game. If you're going to have an NPC who has a horrific neck growth, you can choose not to put them in a piece of armor that has clothing going halfway through the horrific neck mark. That's a choice you can make. You can put him in anything else. There are so many pieces of armor that don't go that far up his neck and cause a visual interruption that breaks the player's immersion and ruins the look of the character. Just a thought. Ah. Anyway... Uh, are you okay, my guy? Why, you say that as if it's a bad thing. Look at this. I am quite overcome with happiness. Look Indeed. at this. You won't find a Rizzo's worker in all of Eridanos who isn't 100% thrilled in their day-to-day -day existence. It's part of our brand manifesto. Of course it is. Happy workers lead to happy customers. Happy customers are repeat customers. I mean, that's and true. repeat customers make the charts look better on our weekly profit reports. Also so true. If nothing else, it's my responsibility at all times to smile, smile, smile. Well. And you know what never fails to bring a smile to my face? The breathtaking tours we offer throughout the orchards. Seasonally available for purchase in the Nut Hut. Nut Hut! All right, fine. You know what? <laughs> we have John Mulaney at home. This is John Mulaney at home. Yeah, yeah. I can't stop you from poking around, but do be mindful of our pollinization hive. Wasquitos tend towards aggressive at the best of times. Oh boy. There's a reason why we keep him behind an electric fence, you know. 
the Joker would steal a spaceship, land, talk to two people, and go the fuck back to Gotham. I mean, uh, you're probably not wrong. Also, just in general, the word waspkito. No. No, not having it. Timeline discrepancy, timeline discrepancy. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. You don't say. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Great. Shh, easy now. Uh-oh. These folks appear... angry? I'm here! <laughs> oh, yeah! That's funny! I just wanted oh. to make you smile! Trying to infect me with your sorrow? Not gonna let no one bring me down! Oh. <laughs> Are you throwing barf? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's funny. I'm sorry, did that... <laughs> Are you throwing... <laughs> Are you... I just want to be your friend! What in the actual fuck? Oh, look. Glowy blue sky beam. That's great. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Yeah, uh huh. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. What is a drunk lobber and why does it look like a primal? Is it just a primal? It's probably just a primal. I should probably not, you know, antagonize it. On the other hand, Here we go. we're the best there ever was. Yeah, we appear to have fucking wrecked these guys. So, yep, yep, there are there are primals drinking. Uh, there there are primals getting drunk, which means that okay. Oh, those are those are big ones. Right. Let's dance. Ooh, that had to hurt. Yeah, you're quite dead, though. Hi, Carter Reynolds. Didn't expect to see a living person in here. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Hey, God! What are you doing in here? Are you authorized to be in the conservatory? Let's go with yes. Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Let's go with yes. Are you my ex-wife? Let's go with no. No. She fell off the side of Eridanos under mysterious circumstances six years ago, conveniently rendering our marriage contract null. You must be the new uh, groundskeeper? Just call me mm, Willie, buddy. I can't be it either, seeing how the new one hasn't died yet. Just who are you? Uh, you were right the first time. I've returned from beyond the grave to exact my revenge. Very funny. If you were Edna, you would have stabbed me in the throat halfway through the second word of my first question. No. Oh. Does he think you look like his ex-wife or that you're going to stab him for no reason? Because one of those is kind of true. Which I'm one? Oh, damn it. And after a while, anything that isn't a plant gets hard to distinguish from anything that is. But no, you don't look like it, though. Though you do smell a bit like her, like blood and starship grease. You must be that freelance inspector. Well, I suppose you can poke around as you like. Bleeding hell. Standing up like this makes a body forget how stiff it gets, bent over plants all day. Oh, seems I'm not as young as I feel. <laughs> uh, yeah, did, uh, did Halcy and Helen come through here, even though I already know that she did? Indeed. Tromped in and out of the conservatory with no heed for anyone else. Good thing none of my charges were damaged. Starlet or not... I would have had a harsh word for her. I see. I heard she pushed her way into a tour of the RR and DD labs not soon after. She's just a serial actress. Yet she acts like she's deserved of the same access as a co-CEO. 
Mm. Well, she's not going anywhere ever again, which is a shame, of course. Taken too soon and all. A shame. Right. Before you go, a warning. If you hear a pollinization cycle announcement, I recommend you hide. Our wasp kiddos can be quite uh, territorial. You're the second person to warn me about those. You mean you don't know? Why, they're only Rizzo's brilliant solution to the problem of pollinizing crops while simultaneously protecting its investments. Uh-huh. They come through the orchards only during pollinization cycles, as dictated by our hive control operators, which means that visitors usually aren't on the receiving ends of their stingers. Usually. Usually. Okay. Uh, good question. Why are just you Just because our systems are good doesn't mean they're infallible. Great. Why, just last week, an intern accidentally broke into a hive and unleashed a swarm. What, were his family compensated for his loss? I for Hive Control's recall system. I shudder to think at the profits we could have lost had the wasquitos gone rampant. Oh, great. Optional. Unleash the wasquitos. Let's not do that. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Wonderful. I'm sorry, what is that? That is a, a parasite spawnling? Why does it look like a mantipiller? Also, uh, why do you look like a corpse, bud? I love a good brawl! Oh. Oh, you have a you have a whole bucket of hit points. Let's see. Well, oh boy, oh, oh, you're quite, you're quite large, and Let oh hi. Share my joy. That's one I down. Just want to be your friend. Did you just explode in a cloud of purple dust? I don't like things that explode in clouds of purple dust. What is? Oh, oh boy, oh, I have every, I have every status effect in the game right now. Okay, well, you can die. All right. Um. What are you? Oh, you're Parvati. Hi. Parvati, is there a reason you're not fighting with Everyone me all right? right now? Oh, you over there are, um, shh. Yeah, you're going to need to die. Here we go. <laughs> I can't hear you laughing. I just want to feel scared. Oh, that had to hurt. I just wanted to make you smile. <laughs> Too bad. Oh boy, these these guys and things are. Real funny. Keep it up. Give it a Not even a breath. Yeah, y'all can die. Timeline discrepancy. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. You know, Halcyon Helen keeps uh, having her footprints pop up near corpses. Did she, like, murder 27 dudes or something? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You, um, weren't supposed to be so damn close. But now that you're here, you can die. Down they go! Oh, there's another one. Oh, no, poor buddy! Oh, there are three more. Actually, oh boy, hi. Hi, please don't. Oh boy, oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh, oh, you, you, you have a bucket of hit points and hit like a truck. You hit like a truck. You hit like a truck made out of steroids. Oh god. Oh hi, hi. Would you die, please? Thank you. I appreciate it. You're my friend. I like that you're dead. I'm a fan of you having died. Is that all of them dead? Good god. Huh. Analysis. This discarded canister is typical of the R-mounted storage tanks on the orchard's agricultural mechanicals. However, it is not currently attached to a mechanical. That this sounds bad. This canister contains a high amount of vinegar in addition to water. Warning. Use of vinegar, a known herbicide on purpleberry saplings, is a violation of Rizzo's agricultural standards. I see. So where are these usually kept? These canisters can typically be found in the nursery storage building in the Purpleberry Orchards, except for this one, which can be found here. 
What if we do a deeper chemical analysis? Chemical makeup of substance. 50% water, 50% vinegar. Trace amounts of woolly cow feces also detected. Mmm. Cow shit. Well, that's not good. All right, so we accidentally stumbled upon uh, one of the things that we need to do for the uh, Fix the Orchards quest, or discover who sabotaged the Orchards quest. That's nice. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Oh-ho! Well, first of all, let's... Uh, this is a key card for Rizzo's Research and Development District Lab, so they're the RR and DD. If you are reading this warning anywhere other than the RR and DD, please return it to the RR and DD for an only moderate extreme pay reduction and a mild reduction of working fingers. I see. So now we can go to uh, RR and DD to continue the momentary taste of Purpleberry Quest. Perhaps, uh, perhaps that is where Halcyon Helen went. It's unknown who dropped it, Helen, or her mysterious paramour. At least you know where to look for your next lead. Well, I think we will find our next lead over there, but we will find our next lead next time. That is going to do it for us here tonight. We are hot on the trail of the cold, cold corpse of Ruth Whatserface, also known as Halcyon Helen. We will pick it up next time. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good night. And goodbye.